try to connect all of this, bring back our panel and talk about how the declines in markets, the volatility uh, that we've seen might impact those midterm elections. So, Jack, kind of the opposite of what uh, Steve and Melissa were just talking about in terms of, you know, how the midterms might impact markets. What about, you know, as we look at things, what do you think is the connection uh, between the two right now? Might the GOP be hurt by the declines in stocks that we're now reporting on? I think the average the average investor out there isn't sitting there like us minute by minute talking about hey, what's the latest GDP report? What right. went on? What went on during the you know third hour of trading today? The average person looks at their statement at the end of the month and they feel pretty good about where the Not value of their accounts is, where the value of their house <laughs> is. Maybe overall, they but... feel pretty good about the unemployment rate. So I think the average voter feels pretty good about the economy. That's the biggest thing going for uh, Republicans right now going into the election. Right. I was going to say this month, if they just looked at the monthly statement, I know you're talking about the overall statement, but this month is, is actually, and it's sometimes we overdo it, um, John, with these superlatives, but this is the worst month since October of 08, Dow, S&P, and NASDAQ. So anytime anything's the worst since 08, it's, it's going to be pretty bad, and it was. Is there a political impact in your view from that? I think there's going to be a slight uh, political impact. I agree with my friend Jack on this, that mm -hmm. market volatility overall is not going to affect the midterms. I think that 3.7% uh, unemployment number affects that so much more when you say it's the lowest unemployment in 50 years. Okay. I think that affects more the average consumer out there. But I don't think the market volatility necessarily affects that because I think most people uh, out there are either not in the market or they're looking at what the market has done since the president's And, John, over. real quick to you on this, uh, what about the, the reverse that Steve Forbes was just mentioning? There's been some controversy about that this week, the Larry Kudlow comments and what have you, whether or not the trading that we're seeing is related to the midterms as opposed to the effect the opposite way that we've been talking about, John. Yeah, there's a rumor on Wall Street right now that China is uh, significantly trying to impact uh, trading on the Wall Street right now by selling stocks, and it's also trying to uh, influence the debt market by the way they buy and sell treasuries by raising interest rates because they want uh, a stalemate in Congress next year with at least the Democrats taking the House. So I think there could be something to that. Uh, I, overall, I think in, investors out there and consumers are going to vote with their pocketbook. History says that the Republicans get beat and beaten badly, but I'm not sure if it's different this time because now you have such angst against both parties. I don't think people really like Democrats or Republicans, so I think they're probably just going to vote with their wallet. Nobody likes anything. Um, no, they're Jack all miserable. And John, thanks, guys. Have a good weekend, if possible. Appreciate you coming on.